Now they rub blues. <laughs> oh, I've still not hit target weight. Fucking hell. Right, it's Thursday the 28th. Four days to the weigh-in. So, because me van is still fucking knackered, the other mash, yeah, you know, the brilliant mash. Winders mash, yeah. Lovely, lovely Wayne, because he's lending me a van. Otherwise, the shit mash. Um, yeah, he's lending me a van, but I'm on Minster Road, and he's in Scotter, so I thought, oh, I'll have a walk, yeah. So I've had a look, it's only 11 miles. So I better get cracking, it's half past 11, and I've got to be there for two o'clock. So let's see what shit we see on the way. What could go wrong? Get your lard off. Cut down on your pork life. <laughs> see you in a bit. Go on, fuck off. I've got to get walking. Now then. First place of outstanding natural beauty. Look at it. I'm going to show you something really famous. Somebody famous was born in this house. Let me show you. No, not the flat. That one there. 65 Salisbury Close. 24th of July, 1968. Front bedroom. A beautiful, angelic baby boy with the voice of an angel. Yeah, you got it, fucking me. Look at it, there should be a blue plaque on there. Wow, might even see the bedroom. Let's have a look in a sec. Top bedroom at front. That's the one there, look. Way. <laughs> so yeah, Westcliff. This is like where all your, your poets your avant-garde. That's where, that's where they're all born. This is like Greenwich Village, you know what I mean? Or Paris in the 1890s. It's a real hotbed of creativity. Or it's a shithole. Depends on which angle you look at. I'm an old romantic, so uh, I go for the prior one. And then I'm just gonna nip off Look at it, it's beautiful. You might, uh, you might recognise it from Skint, which was a bastardisation, really, of an otherwise decent place. But uh, I'm going to go see where I lived after that, in Ripon Close. Over and out. So yeah, moved to Winterton and then moved back over here. That one there with the windows open. Second floor up, that one there. Yeah, so I lived there from, ooh, let me think, age 15 to about 22 or something like that. I'll tell you what, if there is a bedroom anywhere in the vicinity of Scunthorpe and surrounding district that saw more fingering than that place, you're doing better than me. You can't love them under me quick enough. I was voted Lincolnshire's top lover. Five years running. Yeah, I had some right techniques. Anyway, talking bollocks now, and I'm not even at Asda yet. Then I've got to go through enemy territory. Riddings. Or as the people from Riddings like to call it, the ridings. <laughs> Okay, now I've still got miles to go. Catch you in a bit. Oh, how do you turn the bugger off? Oh, there you are. Beautiful day. Right, next port of call. Of interest down there. Silica Lodge. And that's where Sniffer Clark still lives. Yeah, Sniffer Clark. Not to be mistaken with Sniffer Paul Merson with issues. No, very different. Sniffer Clark. 
played up front the Champions of Europe, Leeds United. And in the FA Cup against Arsenal, diving header from 60 yards. Yeah, longest, longest header ever. Check it up. So sniff a clack, so lick a lunch. We all love Leeds. We all love Leeds. We all love Leeds. We all love Leeds. Oh, I've got to go up more well in a bit. So I might get, um, what's it called when you go up? Fucking hell, I've gone blank. Uh, <laughs> when they go up in the Peruvian mountains and shit, altitude. Yeah, I might get altitude when I get to the top where the adult dope is. I might get altitude sickness. Who knows? I ain't done a walk as long as this for a long while. I want to get off the main road, it's too fucking noisy. Over and out. We're on Morwell Road. This is where one of the debitors that fucking owes me on Monday lives. John Harrison. Yeah, 100 quid coming my way. So, just before I set off, uh, Fat Chris rang me. He's not one of the ones he was in on the bet, but he's definitely the one out of us lot who was gonna die first because he's morbidly obese and morbid. Um, but he says to me, he says, he says, how the fuck, he says, it baffles me with you, he says, how the fuck can you have a golden voice, fantastic personality, look half your age, women are plenty, all queuing up for you. He says, but how do you manage to lose all that weight? I says, fucking hell. I say, it's a piece of piss back, Chris. You lardy bastard. <laughs> I says, all you have to do, eat less, fucking move more, swap cider for vodka, and in his case, maybe stay off the glue for a bit. It's not fucking hard, is it? You know, I, I hate it when people put me up there as like a guru, a go-to yardstick of what to achieve. I'm just... I'm just a humble Westcliff lad. Harry, you owe me hundred quid. <laughs> Onwards and upwards, I've got a fucking hill to go up now. <laughs> right, I've just entered the old village of Yaddlethorpe, which is one of the five villages that made up Scunthorpe. But this is what I love about walking and ad living. This is tickled all there, isn't it? So imagine you're on ship for sale, you or Amazon fucking delivery. And they're on the phone and say, uh, yeah, do you want to drop it off, mate? It says, uh, give us your address. So you say on the phone, where do you live? It says, uh, can you drive? It says, yeah, of course I fucking can, I'm delivering it. No, can you drive? Of course I fucking can, I'm delivering it. No, can you drive? Of course I can, I'm fucking delivering it. Can you drive? I can, but my van's fucked, so I'm walking. <laughs> oh. I'm about halfway, I think. Um, I've had to pass a burger van and a cafe. Oh, do you know what? As soon as I get this 400 quid, seriously, I'm going to eat my fucking body weight in lard. Put it all back on within a week. Come on. There is a, a, a place for a, a little bit of refreshment in a little while at the... Uh, at the entrance to Bottersford Beck. So I might nip in there for either a skinny latte or even a bottle of stilled, stilled Scunthorpe Finest. Who knows? It's up to me, isn't it? Yeah? Anyway, can you drive? No, can you drive? <laughs> Just me again. Right, I reckon by my calculations I'm probably about halfway. So I've called in at the Natura Cafe, which I think is a, I think it's a twatty way of spelling nature. And I bought a bottle of water. £1.50 for fucking council pop. Wow. So I've got a hill to go up again in a minute. 
and this hill takes me to a place where to be honest I have I've never walked through certainly not for at least six years because six years ago I uh, I made a bit of a joke um, and it was took out of context and it sort of went viral and there was a lot of hatred <laughs> Uh, I still stand by it, it was a fucking joke. Um, but I've got to walk through there in a bit. So when I get to this particular village, you know who you are, I'm going in disguise. Because I still believe, um, correct me if I'm wrong, on the village notice board, there's still wanted posters for me. <laughs> It's like there's still a law that within the perimeter of York's walls you can legally crossbow, archery, whatever, a Scotsman if seen in public on a Sunday. So yeah, I've got to walk through. I've got to walk through. Messing. Taking my life into my hands. Man alive. <laughs> anyway, I'm just having a minute before I go up that hill. And then when you leave Messingham, it's about, I don't know, a mile and a half to Scotter. But when I get there, if Mash isn't in, I'm going to be well pissed off. <laughs> but it's a beautiful day. And I've just felt, uh, I've just felt the texture of a catkin. It's very velvety, a bit like fuzzy felt. Lovely. I haven't seen any thistles to tickle yet. But I'm feeling good. Certainly uh, certainly got the cardiovascular working. I've got another two hills to do. But what a great day to be alive. But to be honest, any day is good to be alive, given the alternative is fucking dead. Dunno. Crack on, come on. Let's go Messingham. Okay, right, it's been a while, let's see how it goes. Look at that fucking tea out. <laughs> okay, got through Messingham all right. Wow, oh something fucking hell. I walked past Markham's chip shop and a guy come out spam fritter chips and beans on a tray with fucking scraps if you was to say to me hey up match get upstairs the appleton sisters in the prime not now because they're probably over 50 which is just wrong appleton sisters menage a trois do out you like or spam fritter chips and beans on a tray with scraps i'd say fuck off appletons Give me that fucking bag of lard. Things like that, I was thinking. What have I really missed? Cider for one, but vodka makes up for it. Um, and chips, probably, and pasties. And just anything that's really fucking unhealthy that tastes amazing. Anyway, next stop, that away, is Scotter, where I have to. Um, I have to get to a place, I have to get to a place called CUNTS. Yeah, CUNTS, which is an acronym of Conglomerate Union Next to Scotter. That's where I've got to pick my van up from. From the lovely, lovely mash. Unless he's not there, in which case he's fucking dead to me. <laughs> so probably about, I don't know, a mile, mile and a half to go. It's been nice, but it's come a bit overcast now, look. So there's a bit of a nip in the air. So head down, plow on. Here we go. Spam fritter chips and beans on a tray with scraps. Oh, I think I've just come. <laughs> Two hours. 15 minutes later and I've just turned down Brig Road and uh, I've met it. Oh, it has turned cold though. 
if I had uh, if I had like a transparent say chiffon tabard on or uh, maybe a frock my nipples would be like chapel art pegs but look at this we're here we're here we're at yard we're at yard so I've got to go find out um, I've got to go for my date with mash yeah can you imagine that? Two mashes in the same town. Women, that's a real dilemma for women, isn't it? Because both of us offer very different things. Wayne, mainly double glazing. But me, leave it to your imagination. Lincoln News top lover, five years running. Yeah, 87 to 92. Then I settled down for a week. Right, let's go find our way in. Come on. Is it April the 1st? Is it April the 1st? Right! I was 17 stone and fucking 8 which is massive! I need to be 15, 8 or less to win £400 of 4 fucking horribles. Alright, stay there while I switch. Wish me luck. got to get the camera head and shot Rachel. If you're going to be a camera lady. 400 pound contains. Give me, give me, give me some dosh so I get pissed. Easy. Don't ever, ever doubt the mash. Laters.